Have you ever felt like your body is stuck in high alert, even when there's no real danger? Maybe a loud noise makes your heart race. A smell brings back a memory. Or a simple task suddenly feels impossible to focus on. If you've ever wondered, why am I like this? What you're about to hear might change how you see your brain forever. In this video, we're breaking down how trauma and PTSD physically change the brain. We'll look at what's going on underneath the surface, why your reactions make perfect sense, and how healing isn't just possible. It's expected. Because just like trauma reshapes the brain, healing reshapes it too. For years, people thought PTSD was just about emotions, but we now know trauma rewires how your brain works. And understanding how that happens, it can lift a massive weight off your shoulders. And the flashbacks, the emotional swings, the shutdowns will suddenly all start to make sense. Let's talk about what trauma really does to your brain and why that's actually hopeful news. When trauma hits, your brain doesn't just react, it adapts. It shifts into survival mode. One key area, the amygdala, your brain's alarm system, gets stuck on high alert. So you might startle easily or feel like something bad is always about to happen. Then there's the hippocampus. It helps you process memories and separate the past from the present. But trauma can weaken it, which is why you might relive old events as if they're happening now. And finally, the prefrontal cortex, your brain's CEO. It normally helps you think clearly and manage emotions. After trauma, it can go offline, making it hard to focus, stay calm or make decisions. You might avoid places, people or even your own emotions. You might have flashbacks, panic attacks or feel numb and disconnected. Simple tasks might leave you drained. Relationships might feel overwhelming. Joy might feel out of reach. And none of this means you're weak. It means your brain is doing what it was wired to do, keep you alive, even if it's working overtime. Quick note, if this is hitting home, consider starting therapy. There's a link in the description to help you begin. And here's what makes all this so powerful. The brain can change again. It's called neuroplasticity. Your brain's ability to rewire repair and rebuild itself. At any age, therapy can help reprogram those alarm systems. Meditation, breathwork and movement can calm your nervous system. Even small wins, like a good night's sleep or a deep belly laugh, help the brain remember what safety feels like. Healing isn't about being perfect. It's about giving your brain new experiences that slowly replace fear with trust. If you're ready to take that next step, check the link in the description to start therapy today. It's a resource to support your brain, your body, and your healing process. And if you found this helpful, hit subscribe. And remember, your brain can change. And when it does, so can everything else.